There are countless LEGO sets out there, but not all sets were created equal. Some are harder to find and as such their prices have skyrocketed. For the most part, you get what you pay for when it comes to LEGOs. But these crazy prices truly beg the question, just how expensive can LEGOs get? So today, instead of talking about games or movies, we're going to look at the most rare LEGO sets and see just how ridiculously expensive they can get. I wouldn't let your wallet look at this one. The LEGO Land Train. LEGO Fan Weekend Exclusive Edition, $963.3. Only 350 of the LEGO Land Train sets were ever produced. And they were distributed at random to attendees of the 2014 LEGO Fan Weekend Scareback. This lack of supplies automatically raised costs. Coming with seven minifigures, this is an extremely detailed and fun little LEGO set. The minifigures in this collection include a hipster dad with a brilliantly colored shirt and a too cool for school kid donning a backwards cap. This kid is charming in every way and would be a lot of joy to get on a weekend trip to Legoland. However, these items were distributed back in 2014, so unless you're ready to part with more than $900, then you're out of luck. Star Wars Y-Wing Attack Starfighter, $1,130.5 Undoubtedly one of the most amazing LEGO sets on our list is the 10134 Y-Wing Attack Starfighter. Why? Well, aside from the fact that it's Star Wars, the level of detail in the design is incredible. It has a big, powerful and durable structure, and it also has a display stand, so you can flaunt this gorgeous car. But it didn't sell well when it was initially launched. The Y-Wing isn't the most recognizable Star Wars spacecraft, but the LEGO set's appeal only grew after it was withdrawn from sale in 2006. As mint and box Y-Wing attack Starfighter LEGO kits became harder to come by, their price skyrocketed. It is currently about 942% above the suggested retail price. Darth Maul LEGO Head, $1,254.95 The 10018 Darth Maul set is a bust of the Sith Apprentice featured in the first of the releases which was released in the years between the premiere of the Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace and Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Many individuals leapt at the chance to buy a bust of Sith Apprentice Darth Maul since the character is well liked. Unfortunately, this set barely lasted a year, until it was discontinued in October 2002 after being published in October 2001. The outcome looks decent, especially for a LEGO build from that time period, and the design is complete and solid we can see the allure of this set and why people would be willing to pay such a high amount for it. Rebel Blockade Runner, $1,330 The Blockade Runner is an instantly recognizable spacecraft because it is the first ship we see in any Star Wars film. It was released during the first two years of LEGO Star Wars collecting and had a two-year run. It was undoubtedly a popular set, but LEGO Star Wars hadn't quite attained its current level of acclaim. You need to create a place for this set. Since there weren't many enormous LEGO sets available in 2001, the Rebel Blockade Runner taking up an entire shelf was absolutely unique. Even though it is nearly 20 years old, it remains one of the coolest and most elusive LEGO Star Wars sets to date. Taj Mahal, $1,422.15 The 10256 Taj Mahal, one of the biggest LEGO creations ever, is a favorite among users. It has a stunning appearance, is enormous and is packed with numerous intricate features due to the number of pieces. Reissuing the 10189 Taj Mahal set, this set gave collectors the chance to acquire this large and pricey set while significantly modernizing its appearance. Unfortunately, this set was discontinued at the end of 2020. Thus, you will now have to pay considerably more if you wish to acquire a Taj Mahal. Those who already own them either want to hang onto them or want to sell them for a high price. And that is precisely what is raising the value and uniqueness of this incredible set. Death Star 2 $1,971.25 The 10143 Death Star 2 is a truly enormous and amazing set that looks outrageously cool, especially when you take into account that it is all a partially completed ball. More studs on the perimeter of the build is a sign of an older LEGO set. However, this specific set has a fantastic industrial appearance thanks to the studs decorating the outside of it, a pleasant coincidence. The substantial inner construction, which is disguised by the paneling, and the exposed intricate partially built portions both contribute to the large piece count. Unfortunately, it is exactly zero minifigures included. Without a doubt, this project has minifigures that would have been a perfect fit for the set and provided a little extra flair. The 75159 Death Star, which was released in 2016, eventually took the position of this set. That set has a lot more play potential. However, as time went on, demand for the far more accessible and displayable Death Star 2 set increased, 
raising the cost. Yoda wearing I heart and vi shirt, $2,276.2. The SW0465 I heart and vi shirt, Yoda was only able to be bought at the 2013 New York Toy Flair. Due to its extremely limited availability, it has become the coveted minifigure for both LEGO Star Wars and general minifigure collectors. The I heart and vi shirt torso piece with the green Yoda hands is extremely rare, making this shorter minifigure absurdly expensive. While the head and leg pieces can be found in numerous other LEGO sets, they're not as common as the I heart and vi shirt torso piece. The quantity made is now unknown, with just a small number of people claiming to have an original Yoda minifigure with the phrase I heart and vi shirt on it. Collector's Edition Millennium Falcon $2,413.95 this particular set has a ton of features, and when you put a minifigure next to it, you can really get a sense of scale, much like you would if you were next to a real falcon. The play value of this extraordinarily large set is increased by the boarding ramp's ability to raise and drop as well as by access to the inside. The 75192 Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon, a considerably more intricate model with a sleeker appearance, ultimately took its place. However, because this set is so pricey, collectors look for a less expensive option. One such option was the 10179 Ultimate Collector's Millennium Falcon. Unfortunately though, this demand for a rare and retired set drove the price up. Han Solo on Tauntaun, $3,158.75 Han Solo riding his Tauntaun, an LLC A53 is bound to come up with conversation if we're talking about intruding LEGO kits. In order to promote their brand new Star Wars Land area, Legoland California gave away this amazing set absolutely free. Making something big appear good when it's smaller could go horribly wrong. Yet LEGO managed to make something lovely out of a famous Star Wars character riding a classic Star Wars beast. Is it quite blocky and angled? Yes. However, it's almost abstract, like a creative rendering of what it should be. At the end of the day, it functions and is definitely who and what it is meant to be. LEGO Inside Tour Exclusive 2012 Edition of Piper Airplane, $4,016.6. 2012 saw the arrival of a neat looking kit called the Piper Airplane. To make the Piper aircraft appear to be in flight, it can be put on a tidy black stand for exhibition. According to the number portion at the bottom right corner of the packaging, just a few of these sets were ever made. It is not only a privilege but also a fantastic opportunity to be able to buy a rumbered set like this. The Piper Airplane set contains a miniature control tower in addition to the red and white plane and a variety of distinctive minifigures. It is very playable because there are many spots for you to set up your minifigures. There is, however, a very small probability that those who collect these sets for their value or rarity will ever even open the box. After all, a mint and a sealed box LEGO set brings in bigger bucks than an open set. TMNT Antonio's Pizzarama, $4,276.9 The Antonio's Pizzarama set is one of the rarest and most expensive in the entire globe. Yes, that's right. It's a LEGO pizza slice. It might appear straightforward, and it actually is. These sets, which only have 57 pieces, were only offered as freebies during the 2012 San Diego Comic Con. Its rarity is explained by this. One of the most popular groups of cartoon characters is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No matter how small or inconsequential a promotional item may be, people are eager to spend a lot of money to obtain one. That is what caused the LEGO Antonio's Pizza Rama prices to soar. H.C. Anderson's Clumsy Hans, $7,375.8 The H.C. Anderson's Clumsy Hans LEGO set is the most expensive and elusive LEGO set in existence. Dagny Holm, the niece of the LEGO founder, created it at the beginning of the 20th century. After reading Blockhead Hans, a well-known fairy tale by Hans Christian, she created this extremely early LEGO set. Although this item was never made available for purchase, it was provided to visitors of the Inside LEGO Tour in 2015. Only 80 of the 714 pieces in the set have ever been produced, and that's really all the information we know about this LEGO set. It's just so rare. The chances of finding it out there for sale are ridiculously slim, and if you do, you're going to have to pay through the nose to own it. So, which was your favorite LEGO set out of these? Let us know in the comments.